you, I'm sleeping! Yes! Yes! Fuck you, too! The power of the dark side, 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 side. Alright, so how's it going guys and welcome back. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the new Outlander. So as you can see, I did not level him up yet. I just wanted to show you how he looks like before you max him out. So yeah, he looks decent. Like, I, I like the pants. <laughs> they, look, they look good, they look good. They look good! And now this is how he looks like when he's maxed out. Yep. He looks epic, but I gotta, listen, I gotta say, the backpack looks insane. I love it. <laughs> all right let's jump in and take a look at his skills all right so i got him to level 33 sadly i don't have a lot of experience before we start i just want to say this is the epic version of him maybe the legendary version is gonna look differently however the legendary version as you can see he has the same outfit maybe when you upgrade him his hat's gonna look differently his backpack is gonna look something different i don't know but this is the epic version that i have so sadly because you know you never know when i'm gonna be getting the legendary version and i'm pretty sure you guys want to see what this outlander is all about all right so this hero is all about using the teddy he's he all his main skills is all using the teddy and fragments so basically when you join a match with this hero you're gonna have three fragments already and the more fragments you have the more teddies you have the more damage you can do and when you have a fragment and you use a teddy the cooldown on it is gonna be get lowered and the cool part is if you drop the teddy down uh, you use a fragment for it the teddy is gonna do 50% extra damage that's really good so this hero is all focused on using the teddy as much as he can however you need fragments for that there is a 50% chance when you collect a fragment you might get two of them really great so that's all you need to know that he he the main goal with this hero is using teddy and collecting fragments that's all all right let's go to his bonuses so so he got increased move speed by 12%. This is the highest he can go because he's level 30. That means this is the highest move speed buff he's gonna be given. It's not the greatest. I don't recommend using it. Only if you are farming. Otherwise, if you are in a real mission, better go for rifle damage or something else. All right, let's take a look at my layout before we jump in game. All right, you guys. So here we are. So I'm gonna be using Master Shuriken. Hell yeah, man. 20% extra damage. What do you need more than that? So because this hero focus on um, Teddy, Master Shuriken is gonna be the best option to get as much damage as possible through your skills all right and i'm gonna be using carbide for the five seconds on teddy so every time i drop teddy there's gonna be five seconds more on it all right five seconds might not seem a lot to you however think about it if you drop down a teddy that does 50 percent extra damage and slow down targets and everything imagine those five seconds how helpful how helpful they're gonna be just saying all right let's just jump in game and see him in action all right you guys now that we are in game you can see right away he has three fragments so he started the mission always with three fragments so let's check the cooldown on the teddy all right here we go so it's 30 seconds cooldown let's see how long it's gonna take for this guy to disappear six hours later all right so exactly with using um, carbide it's gonna take 25 seconds for it to disappear if you are using carbide if you're not using carbide it's gonna take 20 seconds then it's gonna disappear then you have 10 seconds cooldown to use it again however if you have carbide you only have to wait five seconds to use it again all right we got some husks over here i'm just gonna drop it down and see how much damage it's gonna do here we go You see this? This is how it slows them down. You see those? That means they are slowed down basically by the teddy. It's not doing as much damage as I expect him to, just because. Yeah. Uh, I mean the shield. Hold on, is he? Did he just shoot through the shield? Did I see that correct? I thought he did. Yeah, he did shoot through the shield. That's interesting. So basically, he can shoot through the shields. The teddy. Alright. Now we have a fragment over here, there is a chance that I might get two of them. So as you can see now down below I have only one fragment, so if I pick this one, I got only one. I'm gonna go search for more and let's see if we get more than one. Alright, we got another one here, come on give me two. Alright, we got two, now I have four. Let's go over the other skills, so he has the... Holy cow the sounds. So he got the normal uh, anti-material charge, which is only 12 seconds cooldown, so not so bad, not so bad. However, he also got face shift. He got three of them. 
and every time he uses face shift there is a move speed now on every single outlander so that's really great it's gonna give him a lot of survivability just saying really great all right let's find a group of husks and just throw down the teddies and see what we can do all right we got a decent group over here and an encampment over there so i'm gonna drop my teddy to let him take care of everything Alright, that's really uh, that's really interesting. I, I'm liking this guy. Alright, let's say a smasher is getting ready to charge your base, okay? So all you need to do is just wait for it to start charging. Let's say this guy is going to start charging and drop your teddy. And basically your teddy is going to stop him from moving. So that's really helpful, just keep that in mind. Not only in hot patch, that this is really helpful in any mission. Just saying, and this is what's called. Looks so cute on him. <laughs> Suits you, man. Suits you. All right, kill him already. Come on. It's taking so long. All right, we got it. All right, you guys. So, do I recommend this hero? I kinda do. Just luck. Look. Let me explain one thing. If you're gonna go to a hard patch, trust me, there's way, way better heroes. This guy is really great. Don't get me wrong. He's good. Like he's. Look. Let me explain one thing. This hero is good. All right. He's good. But when you think about it like in horde patch there is way better heroes that you can choose there is dragon scorch there's other heroes there's the soldiers there's urban assault headhunter there's constructors mega base kyle and plasma specialist many others like many others this guy all he does throw down the teddy and the reason he's not that great for horde patch is the fact that you have to go and collect fragments and you need to be fast because in Horde Pass you need to be really really fast so you can build defenses, put down traps, everything. So you don't have time to go search for fragments. That's the sad thing. And so you're gonna lose 50% extra damage on your teddy when you drop it down. And you will have extra cooldown. So I really really don't recommend this hero for Horde Pass. I really don't. If you wanna use this hero I might just go for it for a normal matches. You can farm the whole map and like collect as many as you can, as many fragments as you can and then go for it. Otherwise, I don't know man, I don't know. This is what I want to say about him. If you have, please, if you have any opinion, any questions, anything, leave them down in the comments. I would love to read them. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Take care, have a good day. Oh, stop poking me, oh, god damn it. And like the video please. Or I will